I could hear it. Have you seen her eyes? Creepy, huh? Look, it's that demon child. How long do you have to endure that brat? I don't want my kids to come near her. It would be better if she would just vanish. If you know what I mean. Not even your mom liked you, loser. <laughs> <laughs> I could feel it. Every stone, every insult, every kick and hit I received. I could see it clearly. Their hatred, their fear, their anger. I noticed all of it. I'm alone. It hurts, 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 it hurts. I can't feel anything. Only pain. I cannot bear this any longer. I was told that nobody ever returned after climbing Mount Ebbett. Such a lucky coincidence. I never intended coming back into this wretched world. I'm finally going to be free. But it wasn't the end. It was a new beginning. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Are you okay? Let me help you up. What's your name? That's a nice name. My name is Asriel. Asriel. They took me in, treated my injuries, and showed me love. But I was unable to understand. I... it made no sense. Why are you so nice to me? Does it delight you to see me suffer? I don't deserve this compassion. <laughs> it's okay. I don't know what you lived through, but you're safe now. We will take care of you. From this day on, I was treated as a member of the Dreamer family. A monster among monsters. It was the happiest time of my entire life. Until... Where am I? I can... I can't move? I can't breathe. You're such an idiot! It all came back. More present than ever before. I was scared. I was unable to let my feelings and dark past behind me. More and more often I saw things which were not real. Had thoughts which felt like they did not belong to me. But I could not overcome myself to tell anyone what concerned me. I did not want to worry them. I did not want to worry Asriel. They wanted to help. But seeing them care so much about me just increased the pain. I do not want to let this end like it did back then. Nevertheless, I felt my resistance against these dark emotions falter with every second that went by. If I don't react quickly, I am afraid I'm going to lose my mind. And I do not want to know what the consequences of that would be. So, this is how it will end. It seems like there is no place for someone like me in this world after all. I cannot risk becoming a threat for those that I love. So I better go on to another world. I'm terribly sorry, Asriel. Why? Why, Kara? You can't just leave like this! I told you I don't want to use this plan! I... I need you. Azzy, it... it isn't... Azzy, th there are two things I regret. Leaving you, mom, dad, and undone behind. And not being able to see the golden flowers of my village one last time. I wish I could show you them. But it's a barrier. It's impossible. You can still use my soul. I will die no matter what. But you could put it to a good use. After all, we would be together forever, right? You could free monster kind together with me. You monsters are so much more human than humanity could ever be. You deserve it. <coughs> As he promised me. Asriel, please. I, I, I promise. Thank you. Kara, please wake up. Don't leave me. What? My soul is fractured? How? What is happening here? <laughs> I told you you 
were an idiot, didn't I? This is... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Asra, no! This is not me! Asra, can you not see it? Kara! Asra, he absorbed the corrupted part of my soul without noticing it was broken. I wasn't able to accept that he should live with all my pain and darkness now instead of me. It wasn't fair. But there was nothing I could change. I was nothing but a mere ghost now. And my grip on this world was vanishing with every second I tried to remain. It got clearer and clearer what terrible mistake I made. I wanted to protect those I love for myself. But now everything is even worse than before. This thing, it would be right. I was so stupid. Somehow I managed to follow as real. These people creep. Azrael, kill them! N no, Kara, I can't do this. Not even for Monster Kind. They are humans, Azrael. Cruel, lying humans who destroy you if you don't strike first. Kill them! They deserve it. No! Blood dripping from several injuries. The impact pulled my body away, far into the shadows, as it grew loosened. My brother stopped moving. Blood was still leaking from his wounds, but this was the only movement I could detect. No, no, please don't die. Stay up, you need to live. There was nothing I could do. Minutes passed, but it felt like hours. When I finally decided to let go and accept my helplessness, someone appeared. Dr. Ralphus. She found his body and tried to save him, to rescue his soul. That is what I hoped at least. It couldn't get worse after all. How wrong I was. Thank you. 
here now. Maybe I was part of some chance. I am unable to leave that here, but maybe they are my opportunity to 